How do you get over childhood trauma, if not any form of trauma? I'm gonna tell you, purpose. Finding purpose is a very beautiful and very powerful thing that will set you free, that will give you wings. But the real issue is, how do you find your purpose and how do you know that you truly are able to leverage that? My name is Vital Germain. I am the top selling author of the book, Flying Without a Net, the true story of a boy who turns pain into purpose. It's available on Amazon. Whatever shadows you are living with, you're gonna have to do the work. Finding purpose is not a magic pill. There's more to it that comes to that, but finding your purpose will definitely elevate who you are in terms of self-esteem, which is a key component of people who suffer from childhood trauma is the low self-esteem, which can be paralyzing. I used to think that attitude was the key to overcoming pain and hurt and suffering based in our childhood trauma. Viktor Frankl, Holocaust survivor, says this about attitude. He says, the last of human freedoms is the ability to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, which is very, very powerful. But it's not the key to fighting the darkness that lingers within you if you've experienced childhood trauma. Purpose comes in two parts, and we really have to take the time to understand which of these two parts am I addressing or am I leveraging? The first part is the external purpose. I do what I do because I want to inspire people. I want to touch their hearts and open their minds. I do this because it brings value to the world. I do it because I want to make the world a better place. I do it because I want to help and inspire and empower people. Fantastic. Part one. Part two, and maybe the most crucial component of these two parts, is being very honest with yourself looking deep within your reflection and understanding what value does your purpose bring to you. But the reason why I do it for me is because it makes me feel relevant, significant. One of my childhood scars is I felt like I was a nobody. And so my purpose eliminates that feeling which empowers me. And the more empowered you are as an individual, the more value you can bring. So really make sure to understand your two, the two parts of your purpose. And once you've identified those, really start using that to either build your brand or to refine and strengthen your message. And you will bring great value to the world and you will also help minimize the pain and suffering from your trauma. If you want to do a deeper dive into these topics, please follow me. Go to vitaljermain.com. You'll find links and access to all my resources. Thank you.